Welcome back to another video. This is the QuickBooks Online tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to view and edit customer records. In the previous video, I showed you how to create new customers. Let's go to the customer module. I have it already on the screen. If you want to go there, click on customers in the sidebar. We have our two customers that we added in the previous video, Clearview Training and sage books let's say we want to edit clearview training say they've changed their phone number for example and we need to edit that on their record first of all we need to view their record and then we need to edit the record so to view a customer record all you need to do is hover over the name you'll see the wording goes blue and is underlined so let's click on clearview training their record will then come up. Down the bottom here, you'll have a list of invoices raised to this customer and payments made by them. Currently, this is empty as we haven't recorded any payments or raised any invoices yet, but that will soon fill up in future videos. If we click on customer details, we'll notice the details of the customer up here and we have the option to, to phone or, or email them. If we click customer details, you'll then have the customer record appear. We have all their details. If we click on edit, you'll see we're, you'll see we're taken back to this customer information screen that was in the previous video. All we need to do is edit the details and click save. So let's say the phone number has changed as mentioned. All you need to do is update the phone number, click save, and that customer has now been viewed and edited. We can go back to their transaction list, go to the customer module, and it's all done. Let's edit something on Sagebooks. Say our contact has changed there. So let's click on Sagebooks. The transaction list will appear. Click on customer details. We'll have all their contact details. Let's click edit. Let's say Lisa has been replaced by her sister, Sarah. So now our contact is Sarah Brooks, not Lisa Brooks. Simply click save and that will be saved. You may have a box appear that will say, do you want to modify these changes on all previous invoices? That just means if there are invoices on the account already raised and you edit some information, it's asking you if you want that information to be edited on all previous data. Generally, that will be yes. If a customer has changed address, there's no need to keep the old invoices with their old address. Just click yes and it will update everything with the new details. So that was relatively straightforward. Let's go back to the customer module and that's how you view and edit customers. You can obviously edit anything with the customer just as when you create the customer, you can edit the customer name, the contact, the display name, what the company is, the company name, absolutely everything. Thank you for watching. Please use the links to watch the next video.